London is at the forefront of the international street art scene, but the artists themselves are notoriously elusive characters. With rare access to some of the key players, we got an insight into their world. Graffiti. Is it art? Some people say it's art, some people say it's pure vandalism. What's your view on this? I mean, what exactly is art? Is it a brick? Is it a dirty nappy? Is it an oil painting? You know, there's so many questions about things, and it's the same as in, on the streets. It's like, who has put that over? Who's that? You know, who's doing these little things? You know, what, what's that thing on the top of the bus stop there? How does your work relate to other street artists in London? In a way, it's just the same as every other street artist, really. I mean, it's just, we're just using the street as a gallery. Well, I mean, the whole idea was that, I mean, they are signatures in themselves, so they are a tag in themselves, so it doesn't mean people do say, oh, the potato guy. A lot of street art is very graphic-based. I mean, I just think the more abstract sculpture was something that wasn't really covered, so my work sort of evolved in that way. There was something about suspect devices and leaving things, don't, don't, don't leave things unattended, and. The idea then of sculpture being sort of a danger. Art can be serious, but I mean, uh, and it, there is serious sides to it. But it's also, I've got to motivate myself to do it. I'm not, a, I'm not really a, a dar person. There was a lot of speculation, people thinking that there were uh, devices to record the buses to uh, sort of little space aliens. <laughs> I'm writing the word exciting around the outside of 333. You know, street art's a lot more user-friendly. The general public like it, or, you know, a percentage of them like it, whereas graffiti is graffiti for the sake of graffiti, and, you know, graffiti writers don't care what other people think. You know, you'll be walking down the road and one day, bang, something new's appeared. So, I like that surprise element. I think that's fun. And, you know, you cheer people up. Through doing graffiti, it got me through the whole thing with art college and got me interested in art. I didn't really know much about art, but then I got more into painting, I got more into sculpture, I got into printmaking, so it sort of, you know, made me aware of all these other things. It's like we've become like educated vandals, and I think today we're going to put up something like that. We meet in Cyclops, he was painting the skulls, I was doing the teeth and we just jammed them all together. And it's that whole thing of collaboration, you know, it's working as a collaborative team. And in the studio, you know, usually in the studio you're on your own. On the streets it's more spontaneous. You, you're there and you've got a limited amount of time to paint it. Um, you, you, you know, it's sort of the excitement's there, the adventure's there, you never know how it's going to go. And the audience is there straight away. How do you think the London scene's developed? As the scene goes as a whole in London, it's getting bigger, people are getting over bigger, people are being more surprising, people are being more cheeky, people are being more imaginative. So, in general, I think it's a, a good scene, the London scene. And, you know, it was always inspiring to me. Go to channel...